Father Jimmy will start with exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, followed by a few minutes of silent prayer, meditation um, of the Blessed Sacrament. Now, most of you are familiar, I hope, with the, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, which we'll all sing today. A cantor will lead, and the choir and congregation will simply respond according to the direction of the slides, which we display on the far side here. But before the Divine Mercy Chaplet will be reciting and singing Vespers, otherwise known as Evening Prayer. And uh, it's my understanding that this is only the second time that our, our parish has attempted Evening Prayer. So just let me briefly explain what will be going on. The Psalms and the Intercessions will be recited by the lectors on either side of the altar. So if we can draw an imaginary line down the center of the church, down the center of the, the, uh, this middle pew here. Um, and the people on this side, on my left and your right, will follow Gosling here. And uh, the people on the other side will follow Joanne at that microphone. And don't worry, I know it sounds complicated, but everything will be on the screen. So don't worry about that. The canticles, which are sung, will be led by myself uh, or a soloist from the choir and the entire congregation will sing the responses which are again displayed on the screen. Father Lorenzo will be giving a brief homily and Father Jimmy will close with benediction. And just to emphasize again, um, everything including the hymns will be displayed on the screen. So again, once again, thank you and enjoy this feast day. Lord, our loving Father, 
be come before your presence with our weakness and fragile nature. As we spend this precious time before the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, we ask your loving guidance for each one of us. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of your Divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses set throughout the world today. For the sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in our own home and within our own family. Lord Jesus, I put myself in your hands this day. I ask you with all my heart to cure the trouble, terrible addictions to alcohol. Create in them an intolerance for alcohol that will prevent them ever offending those who love them again. And grant their loved ones the grace to forgive them for all the hearts they have caused. Through the divine mercy and blood of Jesus, I also pray that they will be healed of all withdrawal symptoms of this terrible affliction. Divine mercy, I beg of you to protect all those helpless children who are physically and sexually abused, especially by those whose duty is to, the, is to guide and protect them on earth. We ask of your mercy and wrap it around those poor children and enfold them in your love and protection. Send forth your rays of blood and water to cleanse and renew the souls of those who perpetrate these vain acts of Satan. Let them be able to get your powerful image of divine mercy into the homes of these sad families from where graces will flow as you promise and they shall be renewed. O blood and water, which gush from the hearts of Jesus, heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, we trust in you. Jesus, friend of lonely heart, you are my heaven, you are my peace, you are my salvation, you are my serenity in moments of struggle and amidst of an ocean of doubts. You are the bright ray that lights up the path of my life. You are everything to the Lord, to a lonely soul, even though it remains silent. You know the weakness and you comfort the and heal, sparing us suffering. Dear friends, let it be a time of personal prayer, pouring out all our human nature. Eternal God, goodness itself, whose mercy is incomprehensible to every intellect, whether human or angelic, help us, your feeble children, do your holy to do your holy will as you may known to all of us. I desire nothing but to fulfill God's desire. God, Lord, here is my soul and my body, my mind and my will, my heart and all my love. Direct me according to your eternal plan. Lord Jesus, I come before you just as I am. I am sorry for all my sins. I repent of my sins. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirit and all their works. 
I give you my Bible self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life. I accept you as my Lord and God and Savior. Heal me, change me, and strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come, Lord Jesus. Cover me with your precious blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I love you, Lord Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. O oh, loving Jesus, the source of life and grace for, for souls and worship and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O oh, fund of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water, which goes forth from the hearts of Jesus, heart of Jesus, as a fond mercy, fond of mercy for us. As we have gathered here before your presence, we ask, we need to press, feel the presence of Jesus within our life. Let us in a special way remember all our family members who could not join us this moment. Let us also in a special way remember all the people who are in need of our prayers. The mercy that flows from the heart of Jesus will heal all, each one of us and all those who are in our family. And we need to trust in His presence. We need to trust that mercy which He gives to each one of us. Let us try to become perfect as Jesus is. Without human fragile nature, be fall into sins and all its natures. But then, when we ask pardon for our sins, we are sure that we receive forgiveness for all that we have done. Dear friends, this is a moment that we need to ask pardon and mercy for all that we have done in our, our personal life and all the moments that we have gone away from the presence of Jesus. Let us place ourselves before the foot of Jesus, that He may heal us, that He may shower His choices blessings upon each one of us. And may this be a moment of experiencing our personal pres our personal life in the person of Jesus, experiencing Himself, experiencing Jesus in our own personal life. Let's be thankful to the Lord for all the very many gifts that He has given to each one of us and to our family as a whole and very especially to our parish here.
saying hallelujah. Jesus said, do not be afraid, go and tell others to set out for Galilee, there they will see me. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our
sacrifice for sins, and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are placed beneath his feet. By one offering, he has forever perfected those who are being sanctified. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah.
the risen Christ. Praise him now at the last day. Let us pray. God of mercy, you wash away our sins in water. You give us new birth in the spirit and redeem us in the blood of Christ as we celebrate Christ's resurrection. Embrace our awareness of this blessing and renew us gift of life within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> 